Welcome back everyone. So we're on day two today. This is a no talking five day strength series. So I'm going to explain some things first before we get into the workout, just because some of the exercises are new. Today's workout is totally on the floor. We are working on chest, triceps, and the core. So let me just explain some of the things just because I want to make sure you're doing it safely and it is hard to write some of these things down as well. So we're gonna start with the plank. You all know what the plank is. Uh, you have the option to do it on the wall, but the rest of the workout is on the floor. So it, most of these exercises are hard to modify for today. Some of the other days I definitely try and give options, but uh, today is a little bit more challenging. Okay, so after the plank, we're doing a chest press. So we're gonna be on the floor. I'm going to show you each exercise. We have done this before. I just want to say, please try and use a weight that challenges you. I know often, especially with women, we lift too light. And if you really wanna gain strength, you need to challenge yourself a little bit more, but making sure that it's safe as well. So for example, when you're lifting a weight, I'm just going to show you. When we're lifting a weight, we're gonna be getting onto the floor. So you want to find a weight that is hard. We're gonna be doing it for 30 seconds, then taking a 30 second break. So find a weight that by the end of the 30 seconds, it is getting quite challenging. Okay, you still want your form to be good, but you want it to be challenging so you're actually gaining uh, benefits. Okay, so we're starting on the floor, arms are here, pressing up as you breathe out. So breathe out, and then come back down and you continue. That's our first exercise. So find a heavy weight if you, hopefully you have some heavier dumbbells that you can do that. So we're gonna do two sets, then we're gonna go into flies. Flies usually need a weight that is a little bit lighter. So for the next one, find a weight that is a little bit lighter, starting with the weight up, and you're going down, keeping the arms bent, your arms touch the floor, and then you come back up. So you keep that bent position, the entire time. Okay, we're doing two sets of that, and then we're going into a diamond press. So with the diamond press, you can have a weight that is heavier again. So you bring the dumbbells together, elbows are right beside your body, you're pressing that weight up as you breathe out, coming back down, keeping the weights together, keeping the elbows close to the body, and then just continuing to go up, okay? The next one we are doing um, the narrow press, so with tricep, this is a tricep exercise. So keeping the arms here, again, using a fairly heavy weight, you're just keeping the elbows close to the body again. This time you're keeping the dumbbells apart. You're pressing up and coming back down and continuing. The next one is something we have not done before either is a skull crusher. So for, the skull, for this one, you can use one dumbbell or two. It depends on what works best for you. So if, you, if you're using two, you're gonna be using a lighter weight for sure. So with the two, you're lying down again, same thing, arms are here. Now it's just your forearms that are coming down and then you're pressing that weight back up. So think of this, uh, think of your, of your triceps working here. So bringing that weight down, it's kind of going to the side of your head and then going back up. Now, if you want to use a, a heavier dumbbell and just use one, you can either have your hands here. They don't quite fit, but you can do what works. I don't generally have my hands on the side. I try and have them in the center and then you're just going just above the forehead and going up again, trying to keep your upper arm still. So it's just your forearms that are going down and pressing back up. Okay, so that's a skull crusher. That would be it for the weights and then we get into abs. So with the dead butt, we've done this one before. So we are lying on our backs. If you want, you can have a towel underneath your back, just under the area where it's a little bit open. Always try and think about pressing your lower back into the floor. So legs are up, arms are up. Now, the easier version is just to bring a heel down and the arm goes up and come back. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can bring that leg a little bit straighter and come up and then we switch sides. So we're gonna do that one for one minute. Always remember to press your back into the floor. Okay, that is key to support your back and that is also working your pelvic floor better than, and your core better than it would be otherwise. Then we're doing the bridge. So lying like this, bringing your hips up as far as we can, squeezing the glutes, holding for three and counts, and then coming back down. 
The next one is the crunch. So we're just going up slowly and coming back down. Okay, so breathing out and breathing in. And just continuing to do that one. Last one is wrist to the knee. So just coming up slowly and down. Other side, so just go up as far as you can. You don't need to go, like just do what works for you. Everyone's gonna be going at a different height and, uh, and we just do the best that we can. That's it. We're gonna start with our warm up and then go through the program and then you'll be done. It's 15 minutes, it's quick. As you continue to do these workouts, definitely challenge yourself more. So as it becomes easier, then start using heavier weights. If you want to get more out of it, you can do this two times and it'd be a 30 minute program. You can definitely do lots of things to make the workout uh, more beneficial depending on where you're at. All right, let's get started.
A new place, a new home For a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back Take my time, just enjoy the ride A new man, passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so new, so right I know I'll be okay Cause I find my way I 